All right, so let's say that it's your first time here. You know, we've we've never really met, right? You know, just kind of like my buddy Jacory here. I'm over here thinking the moment he sits down on my chair that he's just gonna ask for a high taper, no C cup, possibly some color enhancement, and we call it a day. That's literally what I thought, and I was gonna record it either way. But then he came back and said, "No, I want to cut it all off." We had a quick conversation relating to waves. He was. Um, you know explaining to me that he wanted to try it out and so as i'm starting this whole haircut process i kind of didn't want to go straight into carving i wanted to uh see how the hair was going to react as i started cutting the hair i know that some people like going straight for the garden sometimes i have and jacory's curl type is a little bit tighter it's a bit of a battle if you go straight to the guard type i don't recommend it if you come across a tighter curl type i would just say carve it down first be careful because some people you know don't pay attention to where the scalp really is when they start carving and that's the reason i pretty much started with the comb i just wanted to see how the head shape was And after doing all that shampooing and conditioning, shampooing for me is something I don't always do. Not every client wants it, but you know, when I see it necessary, I will do it. I have no problem with it. In uh, Jacory's case, I just felt like I wanted to clean that canvas as, as much as possible since it's been so long since he's had a, a skin fade. I didn't know how the skin was gonna look underneath. And we're gonna make sure that the curl is stretched out enough to the point where it's almost like a mini fro. And that gets it to the point where every single cut all the way across is even. You know, when certain sections are more curly and other sections are, are uh, straightened out, you're just going to get inconsistencies. You don't want that in this cut. You want an even cut all the way through. And there you go, guys. The bald foundation has been set. I dropped it a little bit because I didn't want to make his his head shape look bigger than what it looked like. Uh, I, I didn't want to have it too high, obviously, because he didn't want to. So it was, it was actually a bit of a gamble. It was my first time cutting him, right? I don't think I've ever really gone for this direction before in any of my services. For a lot of you that watch my haircuts, I mean, high fades are usually my thing. Mid uh, would be second to that, but low fades, especially on a situation where, you know, it's a little light on on the corners it's just not really what i go for but i gotta really admit guys this was a cut that this is like top five favorites for me on how the blend came out i just made sure that the blend was stressed enough to still seem light but not light enough where it seemed like a high fade for him and oh man i just like the blurriness on this fade You gotta have a lot of patience when you blend or combine the fades from the side into the middle uh all of you know that i don't really go all the way across anymore i don't do the uh, typewriter fade um especially on people that i fade for the first time i don't just create panels all the way through sometimes i just focus on creating a panel on one section of the head and then create it again or duplicate it on the other side and merge it on the back and for him uh because the the occipital bone didn't create a really bad shadow i felt pretty confident you know just keeping the blend right under the occipital bone you know some occipital bones stick out to the point where the shadows are too heavy and at that point you want to just stretch that blend even, even more but that wasn't the case with jacory which brings us to this point this chapter i don't even know what to call this i'll let the headings explain it 
and we are going to continue to it this is the lineup guys these finishing touches will dictate the final outcome and the the middle section of this haircut is a little dry or the skin beneath the hair is a little dry which lets us know we have to be careful in how the skin could possibly be irritated from the trimmers you don't want it to get to the point where it bleeds it could get there if you don't have the blade set correctly my blades are in zero gap so i'm very very confident that i'm not gonna make his skin get irritated there's only so much i could do on how it looks it was already dry so it may look like it's a heavy pushback but it's really not it's just that his skin is dry and let's also keep this in mind i mean you know if i don't give it a nice little pushback to a certain degree it's just gonna be a heavy arch right and we don't want that he wants a nice sharp lineup there are clients that i have that have a similar haircut actually um i have one in particular that he he actually asked me to to curve it in to make it look sharp and the lineups go inward like heavy heavy inward like a v almost right and the haircut is as low as jacori's but in jacori's case he wants a sharp lineup he doesn't want the other kind he doesn't want the heavy v all right and that's part of the consultation you always consult the consultation isn't just in the beginning it's consistently through the service all right <laughs> So once most of the detail on the lineup is done, I continue on with the service. I had asked Jacor if he was trying to, you know, Ross it out, you know, pretty much grow something out with the with the facial hair. And he was like, you know, not really, not this time. So we're cutting it off and we're just focusing on the chin and the mustache. Now the 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 chin area is similar to um man, uh, you guys know not that right? So Nata has a similar <laughs> a similar setup, right? He doesn't, you know, you know, it's not it's not like he can grow much. So he makes the most out of what he has. And Jacori is doing the same. He wants it kind of short. They didn't want to have it long to the point where he could pull on the hair heavy on some, you know, on some on some master splinter type stuff, right? He didn't want all that. And he wanted the mustache to be tight. But this, you know, it's kind of light on the mustache. He doesn't have the thickest mustache, so you have to be careful. When you come across a mustache that doesn't have a lot of density to it, don't go straight for the half. I usually, I don't, I don't usually go higher than a one guard. You know, if 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 anything, you know, you could use a one guard uh, with the grain and it'll, it won't cut much, or just use your scissors. But I just feel like anything higher than a one guard is gonna be uncomfortable for for your client's nose. You might, you might, you might stab him with the one and a half. I don't, I don't ever imagine seeing anybody use a two guard on any mustache but if you do let me know that would be interesting i, I want to know if you any of you use anything higher than the one let me know in the comment section all right guys you already know if you really like this video this haircut and you want to see an extended version a detailed version click on the link below on the 245 academy i'm going to be explaining how i did it The most important part 
of doing enhancement guys is double checking how it looks from a distance it's up there with how fade looks you don't want to rush it or you don't want to just you know have a, a happy trigger finger out here and, and not really take in consideration how it can just look ugly by just spraying and not checking your work i feel like some people don't check their their enhancements as much as they do every other part of the service the enhancement has to be checked guys don't skip those steps you what, what was it that we said on the last video that people PPP. What's that PPP? You know, preparation promotes. <laughs> Now we've made it, guys. I'm happy that even though I might not be able to see him as much because he came all the way from Tallahassee, he came to the barbershop out here in Tampa, Florida, by the way, Headlines Barbershop. Uh, and and he had all the faith in the world that he was going to come out happy. And he was right. La, 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 la